Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video. What are we doing today? We're starting to head off ramping even more to the 7th anniversary because we finally got the countdown campaign. So we're going to take a look at it right now. And this campaign is going to go from the 26th all the way to July 4th, which is going to be a Thursday, about a week. So let's go into it. 7th anniversary, it starts on the 26th, which is going to be today at day roll. And it goes until July 4th, which is Thursday, like I said. Uh, in terms of what you're going to be getting, the login bonus, three golden apples on day one, two, and three, and then a ticket on day four, and then two more golden apples, one on the fifth, one on the sixth, and on the seventh day, God said, let there be a single ticket. And there you go. Uh, come back with login bonus. If you've been waiting to come back to the game specifically for this, uh, sp <laughs> for this bonus, Now's your time. Uh, on day one, you get a single quartz, 2,000 FP. Uh, every On every single one of these days, except for the last, you get 2,000 FP, one five-star experience, and a golden apple. Um, and then on the final day, the seventh day, you get 2,000 friend points, 10 of the... Oh, these aren't five. These are four, I think. Right? Yes. Okay, they're four. My bad. Four-star. 10 of the 4 star and 10 golden apples. In terms of quartz, you get 1 and one for day 1 and 2, 2 uh, for day 3, 3 for day 4, 5 for day 5. Why didn't they just make it consistent? Uh, 8 on day 6. Okay, now they're just being silly. And on day 7, the 10. 10 same quartz. For a total of, um, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4... Uh, five, six, seven, eight, no, it's seven, um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and then thirty cent quartz at the end of it. Makes sense. You can only receive the comeback login if you have met the following criteria. Most recent login before is June 26th, and you clear Fuyuki. Start dash campaign. Start campaign is, uh, has been updated with new rewards for the duration of the campaign. Uh, this is for people who are brand new to the game. Log in on day one. It is all this you see. It's a lot of stuff. Uh, I'll just stick to the quartz and the tickets because that's what people care about the most. On day one, two same quartz and three same quartz. And then the next day, five same quartz. And then the next day, on the fourth day, seven same quartz. Fifth day, 10 same quartz. Sixth day, 15 same quartz. Seventh day, 60 same quartz. Followed up on day eight with five quartz. Day nine, seven quartz. Day 10, nine quartz. Day 11, 12 quartz. Day 12, 15 quartz. Day 13, 25 quartz. And then on the final 14 days, it is 50 same quartz. Along with five, five, five uh, tickets on the first three days, which is a total of 15. On the seventh day, it's 20 again. On the eighth day, it's five. And then finally on the 14th, you get another 10 tickets. Uh, a lot of stuff for a brand new player. You're going to need it. Uh, key visual <laughs> uh, credits to uh, Nami for the... That's not how you say her name. Na I, I kind of wanted to say Nami because it reminds it similar. It looks similar to Nami from One Piece, but that is not how you say that name. <laughs> Sorry. Apologies. It might be Name? No. Something like that. Either way, look at this. Beautiful artwork featuring two big, beautiful girls right here with uh, Paul Bunyan and King Protea, and everyone's dressed up in uh, hockey jerseys. And apparently, you can buy this specific hockey jersey, uh, the one with faux on it, which is very good. Of course, celebrating another uh, country in North America. That means... We're getting pretty close. They can't deny us very much longer. We had a USA one. We had a Canada one. Mexico coming up, baby. Getting it. They have no choice but to eventually draw my girl when they have to go for Mexico. Wonderful. This is some beautiful stuff. I wish she actually got to uh, make a servant for the game. I know she does a lot of work for Arknights, but sadly nothing for Fago. Get on that, Fago. Get her on here. It'd be amazing. Social media campaign. It will be a social media campaign. If we reach this by July 5th, that will be 50 cent quartz. Facebook and Twitter, um, of course, that means that a bunch of people, when we haven't reached the goal by clear to near the last day, people will say, damn, the game is dying. I can't believe it. This is so sad. Just for like about 5,000 bots for Twitter and Facebook to show up 
and help us reach the goal, which happens every single time. It happened last time we had a Kim <laughs> social media campaign. So I assume this will happen again. If it doesn't happen, I'll be very surprised. Whoever is in charge of those bots got to get their shit together. There'll be a damage trial where you'll do maximum damage trial quests, try and get a bunch of damage. I don't think you get anything out of this, out of the satisfaction of big number being big. Game updates, they actually snuck in some game updates. I don't think these were tied to the 7th anniversary in JP, feel free to correct me on that, but I'm not 100% sure. Normal bond and Valentine's filters added to the new type category in Craft Essence filter settings. We'll be adding a new type of category to filter settings on the screen when you select Craft Essences, such as the party setup Craft Essence. Selection screen under type buttons for normal, bond, level, and valentines will be displayed by turning these buttons on. You'll be a display of the following Craft Essence, normal, bond, and valentines which are the ones you get for normal, regular ass craft essences, the ones you only get from bonds and the one you get specifically for Valentine's Day. Uh, function to automatically set up parties based on class affinity added. With the newly added auto setup function, parties can now be automatically set up according to quest. In addition to automatically creating a party based on class affinity according to the content of quest, you can also customize auto setup by adding detailed preferences such as rarity and the number of servants that should be included in the party. The auto setup feature can automatically set not only servants, but also craft essence. Uh, the criteria of the party is formed from servants who are eligible to participate in the quest. Servants with the highest attack stats are prioritized after taking class affinity into consideration. Craft essences are equipped from the start from the first slot using a remaining cost for after servants are set. If event bonus craft essence individual are turned on, rarity will be prioritized. If event bonus craft essence individual is turned off and for normal quest, craft essences with the highest attack set that include MP gain in their effect will be prioritized. So an auto setup for the people who are just like, whatever man, give me whatever. This sounds like it'd be a hilarious thing for video time. <laughs> But to be fair, this might make his team slightly better than even me and my brother do on occasions. Whatever, occasionally we cook and we make something hilarious that works out. Rarity category added to filter settings. A new rarity category will be added to the filter settings on the screen when you select servants, such as a servant selection screen when forming a party. This rarity category will have buttons ranging from 1 to 5, and by turning each button on, servants corresponding to that rarity will be displayed. Class group category added to filter settings. We have added a class group category to filter. Which group of servants is the three knights, four cavalry, extra one, and extra two? Um, the breakdown of each group goes as the following. The three knights, saber, archer, lancer, four cavalry is writer, caster, assassin, berserker, extra one, ruler, avenger, moon, cancer, shielder, extra two, alter ego, foreigner, and pretender. <sighs> extra classes can now be filtered individually in filter settings when selecting servants. Banner design updated with certain extra missions and progress completion notifications. In the extra tabs in the master mission, we have updated the banner design of missions which complete from requirements involve a specific class as well as their progress and completing notifications. There we go. All cool stuff to get. Um, and then finally, this summoning campaign, which is the la which is a big old summer bonanza. Uh, so we've got. On the 26th to the 29th, we've got um, Summer Saber, Kiyohime, Mordred, and uh, Martha. Followed up on this on two days later, we have um, Alter um, Saber, Alter, and Nidocris. And then followed up two days again after is uh, Jean, Maeve, and a Banana Ibaraki. Then followed up two days later, we've got uh, Artoria, Pendragon Ruler. And Carmela Ryder, excuse me, I said her name wrong. It is Saber Ruler, uh, Lion King, as I have said her name constantly fucked up. I think I've called her something different almost every single time I've had to talk about Summer Ruler. <laughs> I should just say Summer Saber Ruler, but I always go d different directions because she has like 5,000 different nicknames. Though I guess it's easier to just say Artoria Pendragon Ruler. <laughs> Or Altria, whichever way you want to pronounce it. And then finally, on uh, one day after that, it is uh, Kiara, Tamoy, Ilya, and Brunhilde. So, in terms of these units, I'll say that summer units are typically summoned on because sometimes because they're usually very good units. And then the other cases, it's because they are summer units, and you don't need a <laughs> you don't need a reason to summon for a character that you like in a swimsuit, which I think is fair enough. 
Um, so I can very just tell you right now, based off of just the five stars, Saber Summer, very good, love her. Um, Saber Alter, I also love her, but unfortunately she is not that good at the moment, just needs a couple more buffs to make it work. She has a very silly kit that is counterintuitive in a lot of ways in a modern meta and just needs to be looked at again to be improved. We got Summer Jean, very good AoE summer unit. Uh, a lot of people think <laughs> Summer Ruler is bad and I understand it, but it's another unit that I love and I found ways to use it, but I cannot deny that she has a lot of faults. <laughs> I just find a way to get past it. When you love someone, you find a way to work with their faults. <laughs> love is about compromise. And Summer Calvary is very good. Now, we other thing that we can look at real quick, because this is probably just as important, is when is the next time this unit actually gets featured? If you're a fan of these units, a lot of Summer units, I'll say, are kind of a pain in the ass to return. Um, so I'm only going to be focusing on the 5s, but it'd probably be a good idea to look at the 4s, because I think the 4s are equally as rare to get as the 5s in some cases. Like, I want to say Summer Kyuhime took a long-ass time. But the problem is, is that they're not on individual chances. Like, if you wanted Summer Kyuhime, you have just as much chance of getting Summer Mo or Summer, or Summer Martha, to be honest. If the only one that it's really super good for here is Carmilla and Nidocris, the other ones, they share their banner with too many units for it to be, like, a guaranteed chance of getting them. Anyway... Summer Saber gets added into a bunch of different units, as you can see here. So, 7th Anniversary Countdown, and then I believe in the 28 million downloads campaign. Not only... Oh, she comes... All of them come back. All three of them come back. So, there you go. You, that's where your Mo will return. That's where she, And if you care about Mo, this is a much better to some event for her, because she is not sharing it with two other units. Um, Saber... Uh, not Saber Alter. Um... Oh, summer Alter, there you go. I got confused because there's now two savers on here. Mysterious Heroin XX is also shared on here. I want to say this is probably better for a banner unless you super care about Nidocris, which, uh, to be fair, the Final Ascension art of Nidocris is some work of art. But for the most part, Myster Mysterious Heroin X has a little bit more use than Summer Nido does. And then... Um Ruler Saber over here on Summertime is here with Okito J. Soji, which is not... Which is like the other one, not Carmilla. So you can kind of wait the saver there. I know it's real tough because we are close to anniversary, and I think in general you should probably not be summoning on this unless you have a reason to. So that's saber. She's going to come back again. She's going to come back again because I literally just looked. I don't know why I clicked on here. Summer Jean, let's see when she will be reasonably the next time. I'm doing this to check to see if they have a banner that's coming up because in some of the units that I've looked at, they haven't had a return banner in um, JP uh, yet, like Kiara did last uh, last time I looked. Um, a Summer Destiny Order, Lucky Bag Daily Summoning Campaign. This looks like this is the final. This yeah, this is the final banner for wait. New Year's. She's there on New Year's, baby. Not the final. For New Year's, she'll be there. So no, we need to worry about that. That's the next time she'll be able to show up. Now let's look at Kiara. Kiara, the next time she shows up will be. Do, 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 do. I forgot how much yapping there is in her everything. Have you ever summoned regular ass Kiara? It, it uh, back in the day when I when the, I first got Kiara, they did not have subtitles for when a servant got ascension. So what happened is is that Kiara talks like for uh, I think over a minute straight. And it was just like nothing. It was like watching a blank screen, and I had no idea what what the hell she was saying. Uh, and it looks like she is going to be a part of the hunting quest part uh, thirteen summoning campaign, which is also going to feature a bunch of other summer units in them. So yeah, all these units will be come back later. So I would suggest, unless you were already planning to summon on them, probably skipping them ahead. You can probably be good looking forward. I think the only one that's like crazy hard to get and might be actually legitimately Summer Kiyohime. I think she has the least banners of anyone. Wait. Is this the savior? Is this the... Oh yeah, she's she's getting a better banner. I really do think like there's no reason to summon for this unless you really want the craft essences or like I said previously, you already had it set in your mind that you're going to be summoning for these units um, way ahead of time. And to be fair, like I said, a lot of these units are good. It's just that you have to look towards, and if you're already saving for anniversary in the upcoming summer, why risk it now? Even if I do think that, um, a lot of these units are good and I use them a whole buttload and I, like, do crazy farms with them and stuff, 
It's just better to wait when you're this far in. At least that's what I think. If you're actually summoning on any of these dudes, let me know. I do still plan to do something a little bit better into actually like using the unit in case someone's actually interested in them. I say that now, but God, I hope that my work doesn't screw me up in that. Every time I have an idea, my work shows up like a drunken sailor and says, I've had a new idea. I think we should do this, which is a obviously something a drunken sailor has done if you've ever interacted with a drunken sailor they're constantly asking you to do work that you don't want to do <laughs> anyway that's the seventh anniversary countdown campaign not much time left the countdown has begun and that also means pretty soon we're going to get even more countdown stuff and that means there's going to be even more for go videos coming up on here uh, go check them out, especially on my side. If you made it this far, the video is done. Uh, you can go check out some of my other videos. I recorded a video talking with my brother, which is like a really long hour long video that was originally going to be talking about all seven years of Fago, and we got to about the first year. It was a lot of fun. We got to talk about a whole buttload of things. Um, a lot of the early years of the game where it was like really silly and messed up and also our specific history of stuff like some real crazy life-changing stuff happened in between um that you don't think about until you'd be like oh damn i remember when this happened because this life-changing event happened to us like when we lost our house which we talked about there um and that's it everyone thank you very much for watching i will be back with more videos and if you are somehow uninterested in my fago videos and you watch these videos to hear my voice i promise i'll have other videos as well <laughs> they're out there for the seven dudes out there i never forget about you <laughs> until next time you guys have a good day and i'll see you guys later on peace out <laughs>